In this video, we're going to do a website review. Hello everyone and welcome. I hope you're having a great day. Right, yesterday I did a live show and you know what? I missed some of these websites that were submitted and now I have to do this review separately. So here it goes. So in this review, we're going to be covering a few things and uh, why not go into the list of things that I'll be taking a look at in order for me to do this review. So first of all, the layout grid. I'll be taking a look at how things are lay out, laid out on the actual page. Secondly, I'll be looking at the use of color. Are the colors working well together? And also the images, the images used on this page, do they work with the project? Are they high res? Are they well cropped? And all that good stuff. We're also going to take a look at the message. Does the page communicate the message? And then finally, we're going to take a look at the fonts and how these fonts are used throughout the page. And, oh, I said finally. Okay, the final thing is contrast. Are things easier to read on this page? So this is the criteria I'll be using for this website review. Now, before we get started, this video has been made possible by DiviCake.com. Check out the huge selection of Divi themes, plugins, and layouts. The link to that is in the description below. And also, if you want to learn how to design websites using WordPress, I have a free course which you can enroll to right away. The link is in the description below. The course is called Webs WordPress Website Mastery. So that course is absolutely free, no strings attached. If you enroll, you'll have instant access to that course. And also, finally, if you are thinking of designing your websites and you want to take your designs to the next level, I recommend Divi. And if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to the Divi Blueprint 3 course. Now, this course teaches you everything that you need to know about Divi, and it also teaches you how to design awesome, look awesome looking websites using the principles that we're going to be talking about in today's video. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the website I'm reviewing today is from Tosan. And uh, Tosan, if you're watching this, thank you very much for, sub, uh, for submitting your video. It takes a lot of guts, I know. And I hope you take my uh, review in a positive way. The intention of this review is to help you maybe improve what you have already. But these are just my ideas. And also, for those of you out there who are in web design agencies or who have design backgrounds, also, please do add your input into this uh, review as well in the comments box below. Right. So the first thing I'm going to take a look at here is you mentioned that this is a landing page. OK, so first things first. Now, a landing page ideally does not need to have a header and a footer because we want people to focus on the message. So the first thing I would do on this page is remove the header and the footer. This can be done easily in Divi by going into the actual page and then you go into the template. So by default, it's set to default template. Click on the drop down and set it to blank template. So that removes the header and the footer. Now let's move on to the next thing. And uh, this is the slider. Ideally, for a landing page, you don't want to have a slider because you are giving the visitor even more options to click on. A landing page needs to be a page where people go for a specific uh, thing and they take action based on what they've read. So it's important that you do not add a lot of things onto that page. Okay, so I would go away with the slider. But since we have the slider, we might as well talk about uh, what we have on the slider here. Okay. So thinkers and designers, that message doesn't really say much. It doesn't have any context to it. So I would go deeper into what you're trying to communicate there. OK, uh, we digital solutions that engage, inspire and elevate your brand. Uh, OK, it's a description, but your headline needs to be solid. It needs to say what this is about. Say hello to your new awesome website. I'm assuming that um, the visitor wants a website designed. So by saying hello to your new awesome website, the website is not there yet. So the message that you're supposed to have on your landing page is supposed to be a message which is a benefit to the actual visitor to your website. So how does that work? So the benefit here it would be maybe something along the lines of we help small businesses 
get more leads through our professionally designed website. Okay, so that's a benefit to the visitor. They, this is what they get from your services. So just make sure that you frame your message based on what the person who is visiting, visiting your website gets when they get to your website, okay? And then the call to action needs to go along the, uh, the, the lines of uh, take a look at what some of our customers are saying, okay, before you actually request the quote because it's too early for someone to want to go for the quotation. So this is where you want to take them to a testimonial section or even uh, show them a, a few websites that you've designed where you've achieved results, or even third option could be a case study. So from that, that makes the user have an informed decision to want to go ahead and go for the quotation. Okay, so make sure your value proposition is framed in such a way that it is enticing and it is a benefit to the visitor of the website. Right, so now while we're on this section right here, let's talk about the images. The focus here, when I take a look at this page, is mainly on the background. So this is the where the image is really showing. Ideally, you want to make sure that the image that you have on your landing page is supposed to be the main image. So right now you have these two little uh, images here of a web page. You can't really see the detail of that web page. So I would actually take a lot of space here and uh, make this pay, uh, this image way big here, maybe taking 50% um, of that section. And then the other 50% needs to be the actual message. So what we're trying to say here is the message is going hand in hand with the result. So the result is those pages of the web page, but it needs to be nice and big so people can see what product it is. So that's what I would do. And then take less focus on that background image that you've just added. So one way you could do that is by blurring that background image. And then whatever you have on, uh, on the top of that is going to be in more in focus. So that's what I would do. Now, moving on, uh, let's take a look here at uh, the next section. So I think this section here uh, needs to be improved. And how you can improve this is by making sure that this image here is not stretched. Because right now I can see the image is stretched. And what I think you did as well is you used a ima an image which is of low quality and now it has gone a bit grainy. So this is where you want to use high res images. Okay, so make sure you choose high res images and that section needs to be even bigger. And your message here says, say hello to your new awesome website. Now the website is not there yet. And I know you're, you're trying to um, talk about something in the future, but I think you can frame that, uh, uh, that title to you know, you know, something else, but uh, the website is not there yet. And as I mentioned, Make sure you use high-res images and, uh, and also make sure that the images are not stretched, okay? Now, moving on, I really like what you've done here, but there's one thing that you can, uh, you can change, which is on my screen right now, everything is all stretched. It's going really close to the edges. So I will change the, the width of that row, bring it in a bit and make sure that these uh, sentences here are, are not way too long like that because it needs to be easier to read and by doing this it just makes things a, a, a bit more difficult to read so just uh, make that width slightly smaller so everything can be more compact and uh, also this section here where you have um, your services I think you may want to have a title to that section so that gives it a bit more context, okay? So this could be uh, a title which goes along the lines of these are our services, or here's what we do, or this is what we specialize in. So that needs to be the title of that section, okay? Right, so moving on, over here we have this uh, section here, and uh, this is a testimonial. Testimonials really work when they have an image. So try and have an image for your testimonial. And also, the text that you've used, in fact, we'll talk about the text later. So I would say maybe add an image here. That's all you may uh, need to do. 
And then moving on, ready to get started. Your website is an integral part of your business. Get a free, no obligation quote today. That's brilliant. That's a call to action. But I think this call to action needs to be all the way up here at the top. So try and get it and get everything in the main uh, section so that uh, people do not need to go all the way down here just to get a quote. And uh, this Hello World, is uh, that's a blog. You don't need to really have a blog on this landing page. So I would get rid of that. Again, this form could be improved. In Divi, on the contact form module, you can actually add even more information. So for example here, uh, you want uh, the viewer or the visitor to, to tell you about the website they want created. Name, email address, that's fine. Phone number is fine. I would say even add more fields in there. So the fields you could add could be uh, websites that I like. So that's the question you're asking your, your visitor. So websites that I like, these are the websites uh, which the person likes. So that's where you can draw your inspiration from. So you can have maybe about three websites here. You can also go into uh, things like maybe even the budget. But I guess maybe that's too early on in the process. But the, uh, the bottom line here is the contact form can be, you can add a lot more fields so you can gather more information from uh, the, uh, the person that wants to get a quote or wants to request a, web, uh, request a website to be designed. Okay, now let's talk about fonts. Now, straight away, when I take a look here, there's a lot of inconsistencies when it comes to the font because sometimes we have caps, sometimes we have bold, sometimes we have uh, the text way too small. So there's a bit of inconsistency throughout. And let me show you where those inconsist inconsistencies are. Okay, so first of all, here, the title. If that's going to be your title, make sure you have that title as the same text and style for all your sections. That normally uh, works really, really well. And then over here, we have this text, which I think is the ideal size. This size is really good where you have your description here, but it's not the same size here, okay? And as you can see here on the text, it's, it's a bit small, you can't read it. So I would definitely make this slightly bigger and make it match the text that we have here on the top. And then over here, it's even a, a lot smaller. So you can see we have one size here on the paragraph, a different size here, different size here. And as we go on this description here, you have all caps. I don't know why you've chosen to do that because over here, we don't have all caps. Okay, so make sure you have your uh, fonts consistent throughout your design. Choose a size which you uh, use for your paragraph. Choose your size that you use for your H1, H2, and H3. Okay, by doing that, you have a well-balanced page. Right, and, uh, and again, over here, this text is way too small for your visitor to read when they get to this page. Right, now, let's talk about uh, the colors. The colors used here, I would say they, uh, they work in terms of the meaning of the, the color. The, the orange is very creative, it's fun. So I would say this color works really well with uh, what you're trying to achieve here. I'm not sure if this text right here is easy to read on this background. So this is where the contrast comes in, contrast. You wanna make sure that your message is communicating well on, on, uh, on the backgrounds, on, um, on the colors that you choose. So if you have a dark color, make sure you use a color which is um, light so it's easier to read on that background. Okay, so uh, pretty much I think uh, that's all I have to say on this design. But overall, it's a very great uh, attempt. It's just those few things that you need to go in and uh, just make tweaks to. And once you've done that, um, I think you're off to a very good start. And there's also one thing that I also need to mention. When it comes to uh, your value proposition, if you're struggling with the words that you need to add on there, just in case they get a bit too much, why not use a video? Because a video communicates much, much better. So you can even have a video where you don't have to be on the actual screen, but it can be a slide of things just sliding in. Like, for example, we design 
awesome looking websites. Here are examples. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, we've worked with companies like boom, boom, boom. All that in a video. So that. I would say is really, really powerful. And that could be maybe something that you may want to consider on your landing page. And the other thing is, I guess this is because I've used Divi for quite a while now. You are actually using the default font that Divi comes with. Now I would say be creative with your fonts, go in and choose other fonts because there's hundreds of fonts to choose from and uh, just try and use uh, different fonts uh, to make your design uh, more unique and also on the button here again this straight out I mean uh, straight up you can take you can tell it's a Divi uh, button <laughs> so make sure you add a, some styling it uh, some styling to it give it a background color give it a different font letter spacing and stuff like that just to make it more look more unique so pretty much that's all I have uh, to say on this video and uh, before we close this out, I'd just like to remind you that this video has been made possible by DiviCake.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themes, plugins, and layouts. The link is in the description below. Okay, so uh, for those of you that are watching this video, uh, please do give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And please do share this video with anyone you think might benefit from this. And... Don't forget to hit the bell notification. By hitting the bell notification, you'll be notified every time I release new tutorials. And also, if you have more to say about uh, this uh, video, please add your comments in the comments box below so we can help uh, Tosan come up with even greater ideas to construct his landing page. And to Tosan, if you're watching this, let me know what you think about this review. Your honest um, opinion about how I reviewed, uh, uh, how I've reviewed, how I've reviewed your landing page. <laughs> All right. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video and take care.